Alrighty, well, fine. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Burlington, Vermont today, on the University of Vermont campus. And I'm about to talk to you about the building right in front of us here. This is Bittersweet. I'll tell you just in a moment why it's named Bittersweet. But uh, so this place was built as a store in the spring of 1809 for Burlington merchant Ichabod Tuttle, whose father Thaddeus Tuttle lived in nearby Grass Mount. Prominently located on the corner of Main Street and South Prospect Street. So um, the street in front of us is uh, South Prospect Street and the cross street is Main. This two and a half story brick building has been altered slightly with various additions and changes to its fenestration windows, marked by small irregularities in the brickwork. A large Queen Anne style wooden addition with a porch was added on the south side during the late 1800s, along with a slate roof and a bay window on the east facade, which is the side facing us, by the way. Another porch addition extends along the west facade. The small colonial revival style entry portico, portico um, was probably, uh, probably dates to the 1920s. Known as bittersweet since the 1920s when its owner, writer Margaret L. H. Smith, established the bittersweet tea room on the first floor. The building serves as the uh, UVM environmental program, at least it did, it used to, maybe it still does. The building was restored to its late 1890s Queen Anne style color scheme of red with black trim in 1999. When I was a student here, this was the home of the, oh it, yes, it is the environmental program. I see the sign now on the side of the building, i point it out to you. Right there. Sun is going down, so it's it's uh, a little harder to see things. All right, let's do a let's do a bit of a walk around of this place and uh, get a feel for it, shall we? Let me get across the street first, and uh, I'll turn the camera again. In case you're wondering, yes indeed, this is indeed bittersweet. And we can see we can see indeed it is the environmental program that uses this building still. All right, let's continue the walk around. One thing I love about the fall is the lack of leaves on the trees, which means it's so much easier to see a building, isn't it now? It is. much as I love an attached garage, if I owned a place to live in, these uh, detached garages, especially the ones with the multiple bays, are pretty interesting nonetheless. I like the uh, more intricate uh, work up here, right? That's a nice touch. And it's also on the back of uh, this part of the house. Oh, well, building. It's not a house, it's a building. Especially since it started life as a store. Another building that's in dire need of a paint job. <sighs> you know, if UVM is going to own a bunch of buildings, I'd like them to be better stewards of them.
Now this is nice. Audubon plants for birds. The native plants in my garden provide food and shelter for our beautiful birds, and they contribute to a healthier world for all of us. This is a program of Audubon's Coleman and Susan Burke Center for Native Plants. That's pretty interesting. I know at home I like to have plants that attract pollinators. I like this porch on this side. Fancy a fancy door hood over here. Uh, I like the looks of this one better than that one, but that one has columns, so they both get props. And I don't know where that's property really. And people definitely sit out there. Oops. I'm guessing you can see the the chairs, we lay rocking chairs through the slats right there. And this lovely bracketing right here. Nice touch. All right. So I can't really get far enough back, I don't think. Let me, uh, let me see if I can walk over here. Yeah, still, still not really back far enough, but there's a fence, so I can't step any farther back. But the porch, I get more of that in the shot. Alrighty. Let me walk around to the other side. I like the uh, bits of stone right here. Imagine they're going to do something with those. Quite nice. Lots of s seating areas. There's this one right here. And then uh, there's the picnic bench right there. And just beyond it, there's that bench over there. I think this would be a peaceful place to enjoy, even this time of the year. It's November 2021, in case you're curious. Thanksgiving is tomorrow for my non-U.S. audience. It's a holiday we celebrate the fourth Thursday of the month in November. And this month, the year, in 2021, is tomorrow. Practically everything is closed. Most businesses give that day off. All right, let me get around. Here we come. Back around where I started. Sun is definitely setting. It reminds me of Greek Revival style. This is you, but you know, actually federal, federal style, I'm guessing for the, this portion of the building. With uh, certainly a Greek Revival style uh, flair to it. Built in 1809, that would be early for Greek Revival style, but not for federal. So let's talk about the federal style elements. The windows will be over one another. Now there's a bay window here, but uh, let's go over here. You see how these two windows are over one another perfectly? The building's also made of brick, uh, so it's very solid. It has the gable roof. <laughs> I have to chuckle. I read to you the building was built in 1809, and yet right here 
it says 1804. I didn't write what I had was a reading to you, but it came from the University of Vermont's website on the history of the place. So I just find that interesting. But uh, anyway, let's look at the uh, this side of it now, since I'm over here. Just to make sure I don't walk into a tree and poke my eyeball out. And uh, a better idea of the windows over one another. So and then there's the side porch again over here. All right, so this is the Bittersweet Building in uh, Burlington, Vermont, part of the University of Vermont campus. This is Patricia. I am traveling for history. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. I appreciate, uh, appreciate it and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you in the next one. Have a great night. Bye.